Hi there, this is Andreas with Express Pads Finger Drumming and in this video I'd like to show you how you can use your favorite virtual drum kit within Ableton Live. And in order to do so you need to create a drum rack track and then create a virtual instrument track where you load your virtual drum kit on and eventually you need to combine those two so that the drum rack track controls what happens on the virtual instrument track. Um, so to get started you just go to drums, choose a drum rack and pull it over to this place here, then it appears and the other thing that I said you need to do is load a virtual drum kit from your plugins list. In my case I've chosen Addictive Drums 2 and I've loaded it already into this track here and in this track um, I usually use a general MIDI map. So in this case I go to Addictive Drums 2 to the mapping window and then choose the general MIDI uh, drum map. Okay so let's get back to our drum rack track and what we need to do here is we need to go to instruments and load an external instrument into each and every pad and to get started I will just use one external instrument here and um, once you've done that you will see that the external instruments options appear in this area if they don't you need to make sure that you have this icon enabled and you should also enable this icon here and then the input output icon appears as well which you should also just click so that you can see which uh, input node is received from the tr drum rack and which node will be played by the drum rack and eventually uh, in this area you need to make sure that you select your virtual drum kit, in my case Addictive Drums 2. Now once this is done you can see that on your Ableton Push or your um, Able, uh, Novation Launchpad Pro or something um, you will see that in the drum rack this pad will be lighting up. But right now as you can hear there is no sound so what we need to do next is we need to change the output node to make it match the um, yeah, the drum note of your virtual drum kit and in this case I will just click on it and pull it down and while I pull it down I will just play the pad until I see a bass drum coming up and in this case I know it sits on C1 and there it is, wonderful. Next um, I've made in, an intentional mistake here so I put the external instrument on that pad but I want to be the bass drum on that pad so I just pull it over and you can see it disappears from that pad and it's now on the pad where I want it to be. Wonderful. Next um, since I want to create the express pads standard layout on that area of pads um, I know that I want to have it in a mirrored fashion so these two pads here need to be mirrored onto those two pads so I will just pull it, press the uh, control key and release it over here and I have a copy of my bass drum on that pad. Next I want to have a snare drum to appear on those two pads so I will just copy one of the bass drums over to this pad here and again go through the process of just clicking and dragging it to the snare drum number which is D1 and my snare drum is here and I will do the same I will just copy it over to this place while I'm holding down the control key and um, the next two pads that I want to uh, populate are the closed hi-hat pads so I'll go there and the nice thing is that whenever I uh, select one of these pads, either via uh, a mouse click or hitting a pad, it lights up in this fashion here. So in this case I want it to be a closed hi-hat as set, and I go through the process again. There is my closed hi-hat, I'll copy it over to this place, and here I want to have a, an open hi-hat. So I will search for the open hi-hat here, wonderful, copy it over and as you can see it's a 
pretty quick and simple process of finding the right uh, drum notes and if you don't know which drum note sits behind which um, note in this area here you can also download the um, yeah the little helpers uh, file on the ExpressPad website which tells you which note corresponds to which general midi drum note okay We can see um, the fundamental rhythm section is now established here on that pad layout. I won't go through all the other uh, notes here as well because um, that will cost too much time for this video. But what I can tell you is I've prepared that already and you will find it here um, on this uh, drum rack track. And I've also saved this project and made it available for download from the ExpressBits website. You will find it in the presets and layouts area. Then you can download it to uh, your computer, uh, load it into Ableton Live, and then you can start playing with the ExpressPads layouts right away. And in order to do so, um, there's one thing that I want to tell you about mappings in general and about the drum rack in general. In order to access the 64 pads on that drum rack, you need to switch to, um, or you need to toggle the note button here. And then I suggest that you really go down to the very lowest uh, view. So the view, as you can see here, it's that little rectangle that you can uh, pull through um, the vertical uh, pad line here. And when you go to the very lowest uh, pad grid, then you can see the lowest four pads are empty. And if you go one up, then you will find the standard uh, layout here. Then you will find the Latin and Jazz layout here. And on the top, you will find the Extreme layout. Now, this is um, very nice because with that single layout here, you have the three most used um, express pads layouts on one pad grid. So you have the standard layout in this area, the Latin and Jazz layout in this area, and the extreme layout uh, in this area. Now, with 64 pads, you have many more options to play with um, than with a regular 4x4 pad controller or just putting two 4x4 pad controllers next to one another. So you have a lot of options to increase your um, extreme layout. And I've just tried one, um, one setup that I've also stored in that same project and you will find it if you go octave up a couple of times until this layout here appears. So the six lower pad rows are then occupied by drum sounds and the highest two are left empty. You can populate it with your own uh, kit pieces of choice but in this case I have an amended extreme layout. So that means I have the right symbols here, the hi-hats here, bass drum, snare drum, rim shot, uh, side stick, then the regular tom articulations, then the rim shot toms, and on the top I have crash cymbal, cowbell, and two other cymbals, plus the respective uh, choke articulations. And as said, you, here you have a number, a huge number of options how you can create your custom mappings for um, your virtual drum kit and um, it's really a finger drummer's dream to work like that because this way everything that is possible, anything that you can imagine sound-wise with a virtual drum kit is achievable with this layout.